Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today we're going over the Tracing the Stars 1 quest. First thing you want to do is head over to the helm to pick up the quest. Approach, Guardian. I have an awoken tale to tell you, one my brother recited to our people's children quite often. Long ago, great kestrels roamed the sky. They built ornate nests in the heavens like conquerors. But in their arrogance, they ignored whispers of storms on the wind. Until one day, one such storm swept over them. It collapsed the heavens, drowned their nests. So they fled, and the storm pursued them. Most died, but a fated few washed upon the shores of a great hollow oak. There, a mother kestrel guarded her clutch. Two shells bonded inseparably. A daughter, Riga. A son, Agar. Their hearts beat in unison. And they grew. Riga, intuitive and cunning. Agar, loyal but adventurous. Knowing they would one day wish to leave the hollow to face the storm, their mother plucked feathers from her plumage, and one from each child. For Riga, she crafted a crown to keen her mind, centered by Agar's luminous feather. For Agar, she crafted a scepter, Cored by his sister's obsidian feather to guide his spirit. There is truth in this tale. The scepter and crown, they are real. One I already have. The other, you will retrieve for me. When you return, I will tell you the rest. For step two, you need to collect Atlas Cubes within the Davillion Mist, Spine of Karis, and nearby Lost Sectors. First, we're going to do the Drown Bay Alcove. Next up, we're going to do the central cave. From here, we're going to head over to the cliffside. Now we're gonna head over to the Spine Oracle Array.
from here, we're going to go to the distant spine island tree. Now we have to do the holo coronation mission from the helm. This is the gatehouse. It leads to many places. The vault where I stowed the scepter is one of those places. The atlas skews you've collected serve as star charts of sorts. Used to map and navigate ley lines back when they could be freely explored. Aldrin had been searching for Agar's scepter for some time when he made these. Another daring venture to win my affections against my better wishes. He often embedded travel logs into his skews. Here. I've been adding to my favorite, the twin kestrels whose hearts beat as one. You'll have to tell me what you think when I return with the scepter. Mother Kestrel watched perfect daughter Riga as she plotted the infinite paths of the hollow, as if concocting a plan for each way it could grow. But with her son, Agar, Mother instead held him tight beneath her wing in the oak's hollow. She pointed starward and whispered warnings of dangerous storms and cosmic sojourners that carved chaos in the sky. The beautiful depth of the dark spots caught his eye. His imagination was arrested by them. Agar struggled against his mother's wing, yearning to leap tallest branch and soar to see the storms for himself. But Mother Kestrel's talon caught him. She scolded him to never leave the canopy. She held him in crushing closeness and vowed not to show him the stars again. He grew to resent her protection. If it is still unclear, the twin kestrels represent Aldrin and myself. Their mother is Osana Sav. Aldrin found Osana's prescriptions restrictive. I never considered her a mother myself, but her dreams of foresight interested me. We both saw calamity looming, Osana and I. In the distributary where the Awoken were born, we were eternal. Osana would hide there forever rather than face the enemy. When we left to form the Reef, 
many chose to hide with her. You're done here. I'll send for you when more skews reveal themselves. Lastly, return to the helm for a debriefing. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, a like and a sub would be very appreciated. Thanks for watching.